5. The Religious View on AA Clergymen of practically every denomination have given AA their blessing. Edward Dowling, S.J., of the Queen's Work Staff, says, Alcoholics Anonymous is natural. It is natural at the point where nature comes closest to the supernatural, namely, in humiliations and in consequent humility. There is something spiritual about an art museum or a symphony, and the Catholic Church approves of our use of them. There is something spiritual about AA, too, and Catholic participation in it almost invariably results in poor Catholics becoming better Catholics. Father Ed, an early and wonderful friend of AA, died in the spring of 1960. The Episcopal magazine, The Living Church, observes editorially, The basis of the technique of Alcoholics Anonymous is the truly Christian principle that a man cannot help himself except by helping others. The AA plan is described by the members themselves as self-insurance. This self-insurance has resulted in the restoration of physical, mental, and spiritual health and self-respect to hundreds of men and women who would be hopelessly down and out without its unique but effective therapy. Speaking at a dinner given by John D. Rockefeller, Jr. to introduce Alcoholics Anonymous to some of his friends, Dr. Harry Emerson Fosdick remarked, I think that psychologically speaking, there is a point of advantage in the approach that is being made in this movement that cannot be duplicated. I suspect that if it is wisely handled, and it seems to be in wise and prudent hands, there are doors of opportunity ahead of this project that may surpass our capacities to imagine.